what to do about buck rubbed trees. Well, if you take a look at this tree here, you can see that this tree is no longer with us. But one thing we can learn from this tree is that once a tree has been damaged, we should remove it. And the initial damage here was a buck rub, and that really weakened the tree. And when the tree got weakened, a secondary bug attacked it, which made a boar right here. And it's not good to have boars in the field because they go from one tree to the other. So we had a weakened tree, which was then a host to a, a boar insect, which then can affect other trees. The lesson that we'll be learned here, as soon as we see a tree that's been damaged, we should remove it. And you got another one right over there. Yep, another one that was buck rub, same sort of situation. We have other damage over here on this side. You gotta take them out. Right. Okay, and what kind of trees are these, Mike? This is Atlas Blue Cedar Upright. Okay, thank you very much. When you come to Highland Hill Farm, you're welcome to bring your dogs. They will be happy when they're free at Highland Hill Farm. You can bring your dogs when you're going to get Christmas trees, or if you're a hunter and you're hunting rabbits, bring your beagles and your potaringas and have fun hunting rabbits while you're at Highland Hill Farm. We enjoy you having fun when you're here at Highland Hill Farm, and we will keep a stock of ready supply of doggy treats. So don't worry, your dog will have fun at Highland Hill. He may get a little muddy, he may get a little dirty, but he will go home happy. At Highland Hill Farm, we grow over 30 different kinds of shade trees. We have both large and small shade trees. We also have a full complement of small potted trees and shrubs that you can come and select from. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.